Boom. Hey, Internet. Had a good question. This one is directly regarding retail. Good for anybody that's really green just starting up. Uh, I, I kind of skip past this and I realize um, this is why I value your guys' feedback, comments, and emails to me and your DMs uh, to me because I, I, I always have to remember who I'm talking to. Again, I have over 18 years of professional experience, so sometimes I'll jump over basics. Um, in any case, R, literally just R, uh, commented on one of my other videos um, and the person said, when clothing stores open up, do they personally pick out all the products in their stores? Uh, do they buy from hundreds of different companies? Or do they hire uh, a business outfitter to pick and source uh, the products they sell? Okay, so great question. Um, basic question, foundational question that's important. Uh, by the way, if you guys have specific questions, you could always email me at hi at johnphenom.com. Um, also, follow me on Instagram at johnphenom.com. Of course, you could just comment below um, on anything. I'll read them. This is how I make my videos. Bring it to the culture. So, retail buying. Um, there's a couple answers to that question. So, by the way you frame the question, I'm thinking that you're asking about mom and pop shops or a uh, single retail stores that are owned by like sole proprietors that maybe have one location all the way to maybe like three locations if you start getting to five locations and ten locations uh that changes dramatically in terms of the way you approach the business and i'm talking about um the owner of the retail how they approach that business and line everything up right you start getting into costco sizes of things uh generally speaking um it's a very Difficult thing to maneuver as this is post dating because we're getting big disruption with brick and mortar Anyways, um, I, I'm, I'm getting further away from my point. So uh, a mom-and-pop shop one to three doors We call that each location. We call a door. We also call it an account um, so Well that one account would have three doors in that in that situation a lot of times the owner of the boutique will be the buyer Okay, and the buyer is the official title of the person who should be in charge of merchandising the store with new apparel lines. Um, now, if you're a if you're a big multinational retailer um, and you have the title as merchandiser, that's, that's going to be a completely different thing. But in terms of outfitting the store with new clothing lines and things that you believe is hot and super sellable in the market that you can just uh, turn in the store uh, for the consumer the owner would be the buyer okay and then in bigger chains you have buyers so this is why in some of my other videos when i'm talking about handling those accounts we're talking about speaking to the buyer so typically any big chain enter whatever name that is because we're getting disrupted so much i don't know what's going to exist in the future but let's just say nordstrom's if you know the man the young men's buyer for nordstrom's because everything has a category so uh women's juniors uh kids um there's there's so many different categories uh in women's there can be just an accessories buyer because there's so many categories of buying uh uh, bigger chains are going to have a buyer that's in charge. So whenever you meet that contact or you know who that is, a lot of people kind of hone in and see when that person moves on to another place or the, another person gets put into the picture. And uh, big, big chains have different people that are in charge of those different things. So even accessories for men's might have a sub separate buyer that might do the buying for like bags, anything that's not apparel, like garment apparel. So a uh, hats, bags, wallets, uh, belts, all those types of accessories might be a whole nother buyer. So in terms of all my brands that are watching this, just to give you guys some value, those are all the different things you want to target. So that's why I'm saying to really know who's out there in the industry. I mean, really, you just need to open up a linked LinkedIn file to see if those people are there and have LinkedIn profiles, but you could also just do some hunting around, uh, follow the social media and the Instagram of the the retailer and and just work backwards and try in in terms of trying to find out who the buyers and who the owners are um this is why i talk about having like a dossier and having like a really good idea of who these people are and being very specific about who you need to talk to uh in terms of getting your brand purchased so uh hope that helps that's a lot about um buyers and and how that's structured 
but typically those are the, the people who are the decision makers uh, and in terms of getting your brand tested or, or admitted into a store, those are the people you want to talk to. Um, and so if you're an up and coming brand, there, I have a bunch of videos that I talk about on that. But if you guys have specific questions about that from there, please drop it all down below. Again, follow me on social media when you get a chance. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.